Now, let us look at economics. We have looked at the definition. Now, let us look at the what do we study in economics. We all know that we study market in economics. Why do we study market? The reason that we study market is that this is probably one of the most prevalent form of most prevalent mechanism to allocate resources. What else do we study in economics? We study political process. You may some of you may be wondering why do we study political process in economics? Should not it be a topic in political science? It is, but it is also a topic in economics. The reason is we study political process because political process affect allocation mechanism. Okay. It affects through taxation, through aggregation of preferences. These terms, if it is not clear to you, do not worry about it. As we progress in this course, you would learn these terms. So, but the thing is, the political process affects the allocation mechanism, namely here market. That is why we study political process in economics. We study let us say crime in something called law and economics. Why do we study it? Should not it be a topic of law? It is a topic of in law, but also we study a particular aspect of crime here in economics. For example, let us say theft, it is illegal mean of allocating resources, but nevertheless it is mean of allocating resources. That is why we study it in law and economics. Similarly, there are so many branches I can go on saying let us take one or two more and then as you progress you would learn about different topics in economics. What we have? Labor economics. Labor as we have seen is one of the most important resources. Okay. So, that is why we study in economics. We have urban economics, here we talk about city, how the origin of urban life, how, how does urban economy work. So, why do we study here urban economics in economics? Because again urban agglomeration are nothing, but to it helps allocation of resources. That is why we study urban economics in economics. So, now let us rather than going one by one through different fields of economics, let us look at the broad fields of economics. What are these broad fields? We can say that it has three main branches. The first is microeconomics that is what we are supposed to study in this course. Then we have macroeconomics and third is statistics or let me use the specific name that we economists use. It is not exactly statistics, but what we have here is econometrics. Now, let us pay attention to this word micro, it is coming from Greek word micros, which means small and here it is macro, macros. The word here, the Greek word here is macros and it means large and here metrics. it relates to measurement. Okay. So, here in microeconomics, we study economic behavior of individuals. So, economic behavior of
in macroeconomics we study economy as a whole an entire economy we study the economic question pertaining to entire economy so let me write here entire economy okay so let me just first concentrate on microeconomics as well as on macroeconomics so here the kind of question that we talk about when two individuals are at interacting or when a group of individuals are interacting our decision units are always one individual we always talk about one how an individual has reached to this particular decision and if we are handling question in this particular fashion then we are talking about a topic in microeconomics but when we have we are aggregating the whole economy we are not talking about individuals interaction we are talking about how the whole economy is performing then we are talking about a topic in macroeconomics for example unemployment is about it's not a micro it's not about one individual it's about the whole economy how the whole economy is performing so unemployment is of course studied in macroeconomics similarly if you look at inflation by the way what is inflation inflation higher inflation means higher price rise it's it's a concept that relates to price overall level of price rise in economy so when we are talking about inflation we study it in macroeconomics when we are talking about the national income then we are talking about macroeconomics how about here when two firms are interacting or when consumer is when a consumer a consumer is buying some product then we consider those question in microeconomics let's now talk about econometrics i already told you that here you can clearly say this is coming from economics and this is coming from metrics it's here it means measurement measurement of economic variable that's the broad name but what do we mean by econometrics econometrics is basically a quantitative set of tools to analyze the economic problems on the basis of joint development of economic theory and facts observed in real world okay so when we are talking about econometrics we are talking about a quantitative sets of a quantitative set of tools to analyze an economic problem and how do we analyze we bring economic theory as well as the data that we collect from the real world together using the data using some statistics tool okay we form some statistic we bring statistics tools economic theory together and that's how we get econometric principle we collect data we bring these things together using the data we verify our econometric model and that's why we have econometrics is very very important branch of economics it helps us verify the theory developed in 
micro and macro economics. So, although we are not going to talk about econometrics more in this course, but the bottom line is that econometrics is used to verify to test microeconomic as well as macroeconomic theories. So, one can say here, let us look at it one other way to describe economics is, it has two, we can say one is theory and second is empirical tool. And even in theory, we have two branches microeconomics, and here we have macroeconomics. And similarly, we can have here two branches microeconomics and macro in short. So, we can say these two are related microeconomics in theory and microeconomics in empirical tool, they are related. Here we are developing some theory, here we are developing some empirical tool to test theory developed here. Similarly, the same thing is true for macroeconomics. So, here these this part belong to econometrics.